Welcome to all who have gathered here at St. Michael's to celebrate the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please stand as you are able, and together we will say the Eucharistic Revival Prayer. In the sacrament of the Eucharist, you, the Lord Jesus Christ, made present to us a memorial of your passion, the outpouring oblation of love to the Father that brings salvation to the world for our journey unto everlasting life. Holy Spirit, stir up and awaken within us, within our dioceses, within our parishes, and within all faithful of a lively devotion profound reverence, and deep love for this sacrament of sacraments. Grant us the grace to hunger and thirst for you in the Eucharist. Help us to approach you in holy communion frequently, and to receive your word earthly and fruitfully. Strengthen us that we may give you the honor of the altar, to the tabernacle, and to the monstrous, that we may joyfully bask in your Eucharistic presence with all the angels and saints, and call all people to faith in the most holy Eucharist. May Mary, your mother and ours, teach us to be docile and humble in the sight of this wondrous mystery. And may your Eucharistic heart, so fully and totally present to us, be ever praised, adored, and loved at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even unto the end of time. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have got great sin in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, that therefore I ask the blessing of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. 
Christ had mercy. Christ had mercy. Lord had mercy. Lord had mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, heaven living God, who in the abundance, abundance of your kindness surpass and merit in the decided to those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what consent, conscience rests and to give what prayer does not dare, dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with unity, in unity the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Let me now sing of my friend, my friend's song concerning his vineyard. My friend had a vineyard on a fertile hillside. He spaded it, cleared it of stones, and planted the choicest vines. Within it, he built a watchtower and hewed out a wine press. Then he looked for the crop of grapes but what it yielded was wild grapes. Now, inhabitants of Jerusalem and people of Judah, judge between me and my vineyard. What more was there for my vineyard that I could do that I had not done? Why, when I looked for the crop of grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? Now, I will let you know what I mean to do with my vineyard. Take away its hedge, give it to grazing, break through its walls, let it be trampled. Yes, I will make it a ruin. It shall not be pruned or hoed, but overgrown with thorns and briars. I will command the clouds not to send rain upon it. The vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the people of Judah are his cherished plant. He looked for judgment but see, bloodshed, for justice, but hark, the outcry. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me then the peace of God will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
is listening. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the chief priest and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard put a hedge around it, dot a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to the tenant and went on a journey. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servant to the tenant to obtain his products. But the tenant seized the servant and one day bit, another day killed, and a Thursday to stone. Again, he sent other servants more numerous than the first ones, but they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the honor of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, He will put those righteous men to the righteous death and leaves his vineyard to another tenant, who will give him the produce in the proper time. Jesus said to them, Did you never read in the scriptures, the stone that the birdiers rejected has become the cornerstone? By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in your eyes. Therefore, I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to the people that will produce its fruit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate in the 27th Sunday in ordinary time Within the framework of the month of the mission, the rosary, and the word of God, three very, very important things in our life. Mission, because we are the children of God, we receive the baptism and receive the mission. Go and proclaim the gospel. The rosary, because we pray the rosary to stake in connection with our history of salvation. When we repeat the rosary, we repeat our history, and we believe that. And the word God, because it's proclamation about God, the word God always is upon us. It is an honor to feel like the children of God, part of the people called to be holy, and to proclaim the good news of salvation. In the first reading, the people of Israel were compared to a vineyard, a vineyard which should produce good and sweet grapes. But this time, the honor of the vineyard sees that the grapes have turned out bitter, bitter and not sweet. 
I will translate a bit the sour. It's very good, sound sour. He himself wonders if he has n not done what was necessary for the production to be good. If you didn't make the necessary effort, so you, won't, you wouldn't lose your job. Now, inhabitants of Jerusalem and the people of Judah, I beseech you, be judged between me and my vineyard. What more could I do for my vineyard that I didn't do myself? Why, when I expected it to the produce good grapes, grapes, did the produce sour grapes? Say, I say on the first read it. Did it produce sour grapes? A father who has children work hard, offers them the opportunity to study, train, grow in the safe home, and with all the benefits, the least he expected it is that the children turn out good, that they make good decisions, like a St. Paul in his letter say, finally, brother, appreciate it everything that is true and noble, everything that is just and pure, everything that is lovely and honorable, everything that is virtuous and worthy to praise. The children, if they are good, the children at home will appreciate everything the Father gave to them because it's a good produce put into practice everything you have learned and received from me, said St. Paul. But what happened when the, the children, the boys in home, they are very, very good, but the father or the mother are not. Bad father, bad mother, what happened in that situation? Who is bad, the fruits or the branches? The branches can produce bad fruit? Depends. I don't know. But when the branches or the honor tight too much the branches, you know about your farmer, tight too much, the fruit is very weak. You want to be open wise. Open. Be good. Good father, good mother. Do not treat it, your son like a slave because someday like a reps have to cut it off and separate to the branches. One day your children, your boy will go. They will go. And that moment you have to feel proud because your job was very good. But if your job is not good, thinking about about your children, we will so they will suffer in the world because now will be good preparation. There is a very good fruit when the you feeling proud because you treat your son like a your son, not like a your slave. Finally, Jesus makes the same comparison on the vineyard. God is the honor of the vineyard. And we are the branches, but at the same time, we are the fruits. How are we in the world? Are we good at producing fruits, such as the brotherhood, peace, solidarity, and understanding? We have been sent to the world, as the Alleluia and Tiffon says, I have chosen you, chosen you, of go on the world, says the Lord, so they may go and bear fruit, and their fruit may, re may remain. The fruit may remain. You're feeling proud because your fruit is, is, they are very good. The fruit is known to be sweet or sour. 
You must decide what is a sour or what is sweet. Okay, look at your face. Sour face and sweet face. You recognize your kind of fruit you have. Look at your face. Look at your sound face. Ha! Huh. You will recognize if you they are happy. Their 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 face will be sweet. But when the children is now is unhappy, I assure you, the face look like a sour cream. The fruit is known to be sweet or sour. God loves us and wants us to be good, to bear fruit of love, and with prayer, especially with the rosary, we meditate that we are called to announce to the world that God is among us and offer us, offers us eternal life, today, tomorrow, and forever. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, where all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God in God, light from light, true God and true God, begotten of me, consistential with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. May the Holy Spirit was in the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake was crucified and crucified. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the first day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into the heaven, and the seat in the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory and judge. It's a kingdom with heaven. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of the life, who proceed from the Father and the Son. And the Father and the Son, who is the Lord glorified, was in pocket with the past. I believe in one holy Catholic Apostolic Church. I confess in my heart, Jesus, for the forgiven and the sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of death, the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us bring our petition to God. For the Church of God, that the beloved vineyard of the Lord may produce its fruits for his glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our beloved nation, that our elected representatives will let God be their guiding force. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peacemakers, that their efforts will bring real peace in families, in countries, and between nations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have strayed from the practice of the faith, that they may hear and respond to God's invitation to Sunday Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the children and youth of our parishes, that they may know the love of God and the plan he has for their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives, benefactors, and friends, that they may receive the kingdom prepared for them, especially Evelyn Skapansky, for whom this Mass is offered, and Eugene Lang, who passed away recently. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions today, offered in silent prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, listen our petition in the name of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, and the sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The sect, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mystery which we celebrate with dutiful service. Rest us to complete the sanctified work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to our Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, and eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory, that you come to the aid of the mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashion for us the remedy of our mortalists himself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of the, our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host, the, the host and angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voice we pray joy with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. This gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon the enlightened to fall, so that there may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entering willingly into his passion, 
He took bread, gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be giving up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and one more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice in my blood, the blood of the Nunit and our covenant, which will be proud for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. your face we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered through you. Humbly we are partaking of the burning of love of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of Charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Patrick, our Bishop, and all clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep, asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may. May Mary to be coerced in our life and may present glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and within and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and all of is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, for me, divine teacher, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace us and grant peace in our days by the help us of your mercy. We may be always free from sins and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, as our apostle, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look on our sins, but with the faith of your church. And grace us to be grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, in good days, I will let us sing after the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to eat some arrows, but only say that which my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into the what we consume through Christ our Lord. You are all invited to St. Joseph Fall Fest Dinner and Dance, which will be held on Saturday, October 28th at the Moose Lodge in Way Park, along with the BLT Tribute Band. Tickets for the dinner are available at St. Michael Parish Office during the week, and they are available following this Mass. Get your tickets and enjoy a great night out. Cost for a dinner ticket is $20. Deadline to get your tickets is no later than October 20th. Look for Sandy and John Ludwig in the gathering space to buy a ticket. Elevate Pregnancy and Family Center is in need of diapers of newborn and up. Can you please help us by bringing them to your parish? Thank you for your support. American Red Cross needs your help. The Red Cross blood drive will be here at St. Michael's Church on Monday, November 6th from noon to 6 p.m. Please help us out by signing up at redcross.org or call the parish office at St. Michael's. Our ACC is going to reboot flock notes at the beginning of November. In the past, if you have blocked flock note, we kindly ask you to please unblock us. Our plan is to communicate only the bare essentials, such as Holy Day Mass times, faith formation, announcements, etc and not inundate your inbox with messages. If your contact information has changed in the last few years, please call the parish office to have it updated so we can have the correct information on file for flock note. Thank you.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.